my nature loving quad friends. I am quad med registered dietitian nutritionist and lifelong camper Jenny Harnack. Outdoor activities are becoming very popular these days and camping is a great way to enjoy some peace and relaxation. But there's no denying that whether you're a seasoned pro or a rookie camper, camping can take a lot more planning and preparation than some of your other vacations would. Today let's talk about some great ideas and recipes that can help you get prepped up for your camping trip a little bit more quickly and efficiently so that you're able to actually enjoy your camping vacation. The first recipe that we're going to talk about today is a foil packet barbecue Hawaiian chicken. This recipe can be made in several different ways and it's very versatile. It can be cooked up over the campfire in a foil packet and served over something like rice, cauliflower rice, or even a whole grain bun. So let's get started. For this recipe, we'll use prepared, trimmed, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. We'll use a pineapple. Today I'm going to show you how to cut a fresh pineapple for this recipe. But if you're in a pinch for time or if pineapple is out of season, you can always use canned pineapple slices that are canned in their own natural juices. We'll be using barbecue sauce. For this recipe, you can use a, a store-bought barbecue sauce or today I made my own homemade barbecue sauce. This way I was able to control the ingredients and make it much heart healthier. Low sodium soy sauce and some black pepper. The original recipe does use salt. I omit the salt to make it heart healthier. And then of course, some nice colorful bell peppers, which will introduce some great antioxidants to help keep you trugging along the trails during your, during your trip. Okay, so let's start out with our pineapple. If you're using a fresh pineapple, there's a few different ways that you can prepare it. I'm going to start out by just simply using a nice, sharp chef's nice knife and slicing off the top of my pineapple. I have a device that's called a pineapple corer. So I'll demonstrate how to use that. If you don't have this device, you would just simply slice off the skin and then slice your pineapple and core it from the center. If you have a nice, these are not very expensive devices, but if you have a nice pineapple slicer device, you simply place the coring section over the core of the pineapple in the center, and you push down while turning. Then you firmly pull up on the cord portion of the pineapple and use the, we'll omit using the, the wedger because we don't want to cut it into chunks. So we'll simply disassemble the, the coring device and find that our pineapple is nicely cut in slices for us to use. The next step in this simple recipe, recipe is to chop colorful bell peppers into small chunks, about one inch in size. You can see that we've already prepared a bowl of these to add to our foil packets. And now we're ready to prepare our sauce and assemble our foil packets. So we have a half a cup of the barbecue sauce here. We're simply gonna add two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce and a half a teaspoon of pepper. We'll whisk that all together, although if you do not have a whisk on your camping trip, this can easily be done with a spoon as well. And now all we do is assemble our packets. So first we tore off some pieces of foil about 18 inches long and sprayed them with the non-stick cooking spray. And then we'll go ahead and add a chicken breast to each of the foil pieces. And then we'll place a, a pineapple slice over the chicken breast. We'll top it with some of our chopped peppers. Just divide these peppers evenly amongst the four breasts. Don't worry, the foil will hold it all together when you wrap it up. And then we're gonna evenly divide this barbecue mixture over each of the packets. So give it a nice drizzle 
If you have somebody in the, in the party that you're camping with that likes it less spicy, you can go a little lighter on the sauce and vice versa for those who like it a little more spicy. And then we'll go ahead and wrap our foil packets. So when you're camping and cooking over a fire, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have these packets wrapped up nice and tight so that nothing leaks out and so that fire doesn't get into your foil packet. So we're gonna go right ahead and we're gonna, we're gonna meet the two long ends together at the top and we'll give those a fold over. So we have a nice envelope fold here to keep all the contents safely inside. And then we'll do a similar envelope fold on the edges and roll it up until you meet the center of the packet. And likewise on the opposite side. And then simply cook the packets flipping one time halfway through. These should take about eight to 10 minutes depending upon how hot your fire is. Our next recipe is the sausage, pepper, and potato packets. This recipe is so simple. It can be prepared at home in advance if you'd like to eliminate the prep time while you're camping or assemble really quickly right in your campground. So we're simply going to chop vegetables, include sliced chicken sausage. Today I'm using a, an all natural sweet pepper and onion chicken sausage. There are so many different varieties of chicken sausage that you can choose for this recipe, so just choose the one that you prefer the most. And then we'll combine with paprika, black pepper, olive oil, and thyme. So let's get started. I've already begun chopping some of our vegetables. And then we'll use three Yukon Gold potatoes. I like to par cook these in the microwave and this is something you can certainly do before you leave home for your trip. So about two or three minutes in the microwave gets them nice and soft so they cook a little more evenly with all the rest of the ingredients over the fire. So you don't have those peppers and onions getting too soft while you're waiting for your potatoes to finish up. We're going to simply slice these in quarter inch slices. And you can see they're slicing really nicely because I've already par cooked them. They have a little bit of firmness yet to them so they won't crumble, but they're slightly softened. And then finally, we'll go ahead and slice up our chicken sausages. So simply just slice these, again, in about quarter inch slices. You can put whatever angle to the slice you like. This is a really quick recipe. So we just slice these sausages. They're already pre-cooked prior to, to sale, so this will cook up really quickly on your fire. We bought these sausages pre-cooked, so they will actually cook up really quickly on your campfire. And now we're ready to add our oil and our spices. So again, we'll use two tablespoons of olive oil, drizzle that over the mixture. A half a teaspoon of dried thyme. A half a teaspoon of black pepper. And one teaspoon of smoked paprika. We'll go ahead and just toss these ingredients all together in our mixing bowl. Or you would seal up your gallon Ziploc bag and shake it a little bit. That's a great job for your children to help out with. If you're camping with children, they love to shake up the mixing bag. And then we're ready to just evenly divide our pepper, onion, and potato mixture over four pieces of tin foil. We'll rip our tin foil pieces about 18 inches long and spray them in advance with nonstick spray. If you don't have nonstick spray with you while you're camping, you may also just smear a little bit of butter or any other oil that you might have along with you. This step is probably easier if you have a tongs handy. You can just pinch out and have a little bit more control as you add these ingredients to your foil. And finally, we will just go ahead and wrap up our foil packets. Again, we're going to want to make sure that we wrap these foil packets really nice and tightly so that none of the contents fall out into the fire when we're cooking them over the grate. So we'll go ahead and pull the two long ends together at the top until they meet. 
and we'll fold them over to form an envelope fold and roll it if you have the room to because that just provides a little extra seal. And then we'll take the end, ends and again fold up an envelope fold until you reach the center. And the same on the opposite end. And we have our potato pepper sausage packets all set for our fire grate. Our final recipe today is a breakfast recipe. When you're camping, people like to enjoy breakfast in all different ways. But if you're a person who chooses to hit the trails early and are looking for a quick and easy breakfast, this may be a wonderful option to get your belly filled with protein so you can sustain your trail hike all day long without feeling hungry. So we're going to make some quick and easy omelets in a bag. Very simple and can be modified to your preferences. Today, what I've brought to prepare our omelets in a bag are egg beaters rather than whole eggs, a little bit lower in cholesterol and fat, but still high in protein, reduced fat, cheddar cheese, Canadian bacon in the place of the, the ham that the recipe calls for, also a little lower in sodium and fat, some diced Roma tomato, and some diced green pepper. So we'll start off just by preparing our vegetables. I've already pre-diced some of them, but I wanted to make sure to point out how important it is when you're using some of these vegetables that have the inner membranes that you remove these. And partially when we're making the omelet, we're doing this also to reduce the moisture so that the omelet isn't runny and it all cooks through. So we're gonna re remove this inner membrane of the tomato and some of the tomato seeds. We'll go ahead and dice this tomato. When you're preparing your omelet in a bag, you're going to use your standard Ziploc bag. This is a zipper top one, but you can use whatever you choose. And I like to wrap it over a canister. You can bring one of these along, or if you used a can of something like sliced pineapple for one of our previous recipes that we demonstrated, you can just save that can and wrap this bag right over that empty can that's been rinsed out as well. That just helps to hold the bag in place so it's less frustrating as you're filling it. And then we'll go right ahead. If you're using whole eggs, the first thing you're going to do is crack your whole eggs, two into each bag, and seal up the bag and shake it around as if you're scrambling your egg. And then you'll replace it again in your canister, fold over the top so that you can easily access the bag and pour your ingredients in. Since I'm using an egg beater, it doesn't need to be beaten up, so I'm just going to go ahead and start out by pouring half of my egg beater product in each of these canisters lined with my Ziploc bag. So again, about the equivalent of two eggs in each bag. And then, per everyone's individual preference, we'll go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients. So I'll divide our diced Canadian bacon evenly into two bags. And we'll divide the tomato evenly into two bags. We'll divide our peppers and then whatever other ingredients that you choose to use for your omelets, just dividing them up between the omelet bags. The recipe calls for a half of a cup of cheese in each omelet, which would, I'm sure, make it quite delightful, but you can lighten up this recipe a little bit by cutting back on the cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and use just about a quarter of a cup of cheese in each of these omelets. And then we just simply seal up the bags, trying to release as much air as possible as we pull it out of our canister. Right before you finish sealing, just give it a gentle squeeze, pressing out some of that air, but make sure that you don't dump it upside down or your omelet will be on the dirt. And all we're going to do is actually simply place our bag of omelet into the boiling water. Depending upon your pot size, you can cook up to eight omelets at a time. Make sure that our entire mixture is submerged in the boiling water and continue to allow this water to boil gently or simmer for 13 minutes while we allow our eggs, our omelet, our eggs to cook in the omelet in a bag.